G'day legends, g'day 420 mob. Um, you're wondering why we can't get cheap rent? You're wondering why we can't get accommodation? It's because of this out of control immigration, mate. It's fucking ridiculous. And you know what the kicker is? They can't find any skilled labour amongst 1.6 million motherfuckers they bring into this country every year on Boeing Airbus 380s. God bless you. Have a listen to this. It'll freak you out. And we'll do a song after it. Cheers, mates. Only goes for three minutes. But I want to get your thoughts on the book, bigger picture here of immigration because the numbers are just out of control. That's not a phrase I use loosely because I know about the sensitivities of the immigration debate and, and this country's founded on immigration, but we've never seen an influx of this magnitude and the government a couple of months ago was saying they understood those sensitivities, they were going to tighten things up, but they're doing nothing of the sort. We've got a housing crisis, a cost of living crisis, we can't generate enough power to keep ourselves uh, with the lights on, yet we still see the immigration essentially out of control. Uh, that's correct. 1.6 million people coming to this country over five years. Now, as you would know, that is the size of the city of Adelaide coming here in a period of five years when housing starts are at their lowest levels in decades. And what everyone says to me is, where are these people going to live? Now, Chris, there's going to be new numbers released on Thursday, mid-morning Thursday, so we'll get another idea of what's happening here. But at the moment, it is records as far as the eye can see when it comes to immigration, and the government has no plan. They have no sustainable plan to be able to deal with it. As you've said, uh, we don't have the housing. It's driving rents through the roof. Uh, they're not, the infrastructure spending's been cut, so we're not putting in the roads, highways, and trains that we need. People can't get in to see a doctor. Everywhere you look, it's putting pressure on everyday Australians and the government has no answer to it and we'll find out on Thursday uh, how high these numbers are going to go. They're already at record levels and whether they're going to go further or not we'll know more on Thursday. Yeah we'll see but just briefly on that we had record levels of net migration last year more than half a million people do you think we could actually top that this year? It's possible. There's, there's no doubt that it's possible. And it's highly likely it could be around that number again. So the government hasn't been able to put the policies in place to make it sustainable. And the really, really strange thing, and it shows you the big, big mess they've made when it comes to immigration, is that business is still crying out for workers, for skilled workers, yeah. so especially in regional and rural Australia, they're still saying we need workers, we need skills. So they're bringing in these yeah, record the wrong numbers of people. That, and the yeah, wrong and people, then, unbelievable. You know, it is, it, it's a mess. So you've got this detainee detention mess, which is the mind, mind boggles about how incompetent the handling of that has been. And now you've got this other complete mess where we've got record numbers of people coming in, yet we've still got skill shortages in key businesses. You, you couldn't make this stuff up. And you as couldn't you make know, it up. there's now... And the immigration yep, minister is still in his job, which is just uh, extraordinary. Dan, team, we're out of time. Thanks so much for joining us. It is a shambles, isn't it, when we've got too much immigration for the economy to sustain, yet we don't have the skills. We're not bringing in the right people with the right skills for the job, sh uh, the skill shortages in this country. Bloody ridiculous, isn't it? Fucking, we're getting millions of motherfuckers in here and we're paying them too much money. Half these cunts are on a dollar a fucking day. Now they're getting fucking more than that. Crikey. Oh, let's roll the tune, shall we? Let's roll. Big love, mates. I've been around the world a couple of times and maybe more. Seen the sights, I've had the lights on every foreign shore. But when my mates all ask me the place that I had all, I tell them right away. What do we tell them? 
Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees A sheep or two, a kangaroo A clothesline out the back Veranda out the front And an old rocking chair You can see me in the kitchen Cooking up a roast Or Vegemite on toast Just you and me, a cup of tea Later on we'll settle down And go out on the porch And watch the possums play Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees A sheep, a two, a kangaroo A clothesline out the back Veranda out the front And an old rocking chair There's a safe place up the corner And a woolies down the street And a brand new place they've opened up But they regulate the heat But I trade them all tomorrow For a little bush retreat With a corkabarra's call Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees A sheep, a two, a kangaroo A clothesline out the back Veranda out the front And an old rocking chair Up we go Some people like their houses With fences all around Others live in mansions And some beneath the ground But me, I like the bush, you know With rabbits running round And a pumpkin vine out the back This is your turn Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees A sheep or two of a kangaroo A clothes gone out the back Veranda out the front And an old rocking chair Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees A sheep or two of a kangaroo A clothesline out the back Veranda out the front And an old Big love, mates. Wishing Australia well. We got to hang in there, legends. Um, any way we can. We got to stop this rampant bullshit the government's doing. It's really fucking our lifestyle. I thought Australia was supposed to be the lucky country. Fuck. Anyway, wishing you well. Don't forget to keep your head on a swivel. Stack some food, which will at least last a couple of months, you know, and some water. God bless you. Big love, mates. Cheers. <laughs>